have you ever seen something and just said like, I need that? Obviously, most of the time you don't actually need it, but you're just so drawn to it, you can't even think about having anything else. That's what happened to me with this, the control keyboard from Drop. What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. I was using the Corsair K95 uh, from like, you know, a couple years ago at my computer for a year or two, and I started getting tired of the space it was taking up. The macro keys are great to have, or like, you know, I think they're great to have until I realized that like I only use three of them and it's kind of useless. Plus I bought an Elgato Stream Deck Mini to act as my macro keyboard anyway. So I started looking at 10 keyless keyboards to buy. They would take up less space on my desk and allow for more ergonomic positioning while gaming. And you know, I'm so lazy, I really need all the help I can get to be ergonomic. Obviously I was looking at Logitech's offerings and then I saw the control on drop. And I'll put links in the description below for the feature products so you can check it out for yourself and you know, help support the channel. Why not, right? Now I was immediately in love. I mean, look at it. It's like all aluminum, has almost zero flex to it, and holy crap, it's like super heavy. Like it's small, but it is dense. You really have to go to town, like really go to town on it for it to move at all. And the rubber feet too, super sticky, it doesn't, it just doesn't. Speaking of feet, this actually has removable feet that attach by magnets. ICP, eat your heart out. You'll see there are two different slots that the feet can be placed in if you want to slant it either like forward towards you or away from you, anyway. Uh, the magnets are like super strong and hold the feet in place like really, really well, unless you slide the keyboard sideways. The feet do have a bit of a tendency to slip out of the little guide holes in, you know, in that case. And if that happens, you're running the risk of scratching the backside of the keyboard too. I mean, you don't see that part very often, but I never like scratching something this sexy. There are so many reasons why this is a great keyboard. So let's start at the top and kind of work our way down. The keycaps are all PBT with clear letter numbers on to let the LEDs shine through. The great thing about PBT is it resists like the sheen a lot of keycaps get from like after you touch it a lot, like finger oils and crap. The finish on these caps is kind of a love it or hate it affair, I think. I really like it. It's like a little bit rough feeling, like a super fine grit sandpaper, but even like more fine. It does smooth out a tiny bit over time, but not a whole lot. Next up are the switches. Here you have options to pick from. I chose the Kawa Speed Silver switches, which are linear, which I love. They have Halo and Cherry MX options as well. And as far as I can tell, all those switch options have like the Cherry MX style stem. So easy on you if you wanna buy like different keycaps or whatever. The switches I chose are great, if a little bit heavy, but when I bought it, there was no Cherry MX red option. So, and like I said, these are linear switches. So there's no tactile bump or anything, and they're basically silent. Take a listen. One of the really cool things about this board is you have the option to purchase without keycaps or switches. Now, why would somebody even do that? I mean, it seems like, like really obnoxious, a lot of time to like, add switches to a keyboard, right? <laughs> These are actually hot swappable. So in the box besides the cap puller, which by the way, unscrews to be a Phillips head screwdriver, which is fun, there's a switch puller. So pull the keycap off, pull the switch out, and now you can completely customize your keyboard. So if you're a major gamer, major gamer, then you can throw some Cherry MX Speed Silver switches in it for like the WASD keys, to make sure you have like the fastest trigger out there. Now, I only have a finite amount of money and time, so I haven't really like dived into the DIY keyboard community, but I just love it when I have the ability at least to change things out, especially if a switch were to like die for some reason. Better to spend 20 bucks on a new switch than to buy a whole new keyboard. One thing I will say about the keycaps and switches, the stabilizers aren't amazing, like in the space bar. Uh, well, actually the space bar is kind of fine, but often like on the right shift key, if I don't hit them just perfectly, it's a little sticky. It's not the biggest issue, but it kind of gets a little bit annoying if I'm typing a bunch. The cable is detachable and there's two ports on the back, which are USB-C, awesome. Whichever one you're not using can be used as a pass-through, though it will be 2.0 speeds. Now a 10 keyless design, you're obviously missing the big old number pad right here. But the big thing you're missing here, like from a lot of other keyboards, is the media keys. 
Have no fear, Drop has you covered. On the bottom row over here is a function key. Pair that button with the keys in the upper right and you have media control buttons. Not a really bad solution. The other, some might say more important function that that function key controls is the lighting. Now the A and D keys will cycle back and forth through the different lighting effects that are built into the keyboard. W and S will adjust the brightness up and down respectively. Q and E will respectively decrease and increase the scrolling speed and holy crap, can the scrolling speed go like super fast, like seizure fast. Tab will toggle the breathing effect while caps lock changes the scrolling direction. X turns the lights off completely and Z will let you toggle between only edge lighting, only key lighting or both. Speaking of which, the edge lighting is freaking awesome. Yeah, it's like really gaudy and I make fun of RGB sometimes, but like, I love this. The LEDs also run at 100 Hertz, so there's like no flicker. Really cool thing to add here is the lights for the caps lock. I'll show some B-roll here, but they program the caps lock button to just do something like the exact opposite of the lighting effect that's on the rest of the keyboard. It's a small thing, but it really helps bring like the whole thing together. On top of all of this like awesomeness, the whole keyboard is reprogrammable with QMK. You can go online, change what every single key does and download that and put it on your keyboard. You can even change the lighting effects. Now, I will say, I've read that if you, you know, you're taking the keyboard to a LAN party or something, the QMK profile doesn't go with the keyboard. So if you take your keyboard with you for gaming, gaming tournament or like whatever, and depend on, you know, the WASD keys to be a different color than everything else, you're basically SOL. As much as I love the keyboard and the looks, I have covered it up a bit with the wrist rest. It's like, it's pretty thick for me to like comfortably or well, I guess lazily have my wrists like in a good position while typing. I do lose some of the effects of the lighting because of this, but overall, I, I mean, I just really love this keyboard. A lot of it is personal preference. You may not like, I don't know, the keycaps or want different switches um, than you know, like what they can offer but this is super solidly built keyboard and it fits right into my setup. In a pinch, I can unplug it and beat somebody over the head with it too. So thanks for watching everybody. If this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If it's ducky or bust for you, I mean, I guess you can hit the thumbs down, but I mean, that's kind of rude, isn't it? Either way, let us know in the comments below what keyboard you're using and we'll catch you in the next one.